Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah as collected in Sahih al-Bukhari from the hadith of Ibn Umar radiallahu ta'ala anhuma he said that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa sallam said do not swear by your fathers and whoever wants to swear should swear by Allah Ahabat fillah Imam Bukhari put this in his book, in his Sahih, in the chapter, the book of Tawheed. The book of Tawheed was a co- compilation of chapters. And you can see from the fiqh of Imam Bukhari of why he would put this in the chapter of Tawheed. And that is because if you swear by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you have violated Tawheed. You have violated the concept of Islamic monotheism. You have committed a form of shirk. And this shows us the importance that if we swear and again, we should not, you should try to avoid swearing unless necessary. And unfortunately, one of the habits that we find uh, in the Muslim community and in, in the Muslim world in general is that we find that many of the youth, and in fact the elders as well, they swear by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they make vows very easily. And they, they either play with this concept by taking it as something light, which the Prophet ﷺ warned against, you know, by saying everything, anything that they did, Wallahi, I did this. Wallahi, I was playing basketball at that time. And they will directly lie. This is what's shameful is people take it so light as they even use it for lying. Wallahi, I was at such and such place. Wallahi, I was at so and so's house. So it shows how the Muslims don't even take this matter of Tawheed seriously. And that is due to ignorance. It's primarily due to ignorance and foolishness. Ignorance as in people are not aware of the import of swearing by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or people are not aware of the import of, of swearing by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so they take it lightly so they will lie and they will say wallahi they'll swear by Allah wallahi tillahi billahi and likewise some of the Muslims who are ignorant of the hukum in general that they will swear by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and more often, this is the case when someone has never been made aware or doesn't come perhaps from a Muslim society or community and they are unaware of the hukum. So they are ignorant of the hukum and they were raised without that tarbiyah and without that knowledge. So then you'll have individuals who will swear as the way we did, some of us, in our pre-Islamic time, when we used to say, I, I put that on my mama, I, I swear by my mother, or I put that on my father, or I put this on this, or I put this, I swear by this, I swear by that. So we used to swear by other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and take that lightly. And that is because of a whole different concept of beliefs in the concept of Tawheed. However, after Islam, we have to be made aware in this hadith of Ibn Umar 
radiallahu ta'ala an should let us know as it is very clear the hukum because the Prophet والسلام, said do not swear by your fathers and whoever wants to swear should swear by Allah very clear right there by having that knowledge of that and understanding that which doesn't take a linguist it doesn't take a translator is very clear what the hukum is and how the Muslim should operate because the Prophet ﷺ forbade swearing by your fathers, which was a direct custom from some of us, and perhaps, obviously, the Prophet ﷺ mentioned it, and that was probably the custom of the Arabs in pre-Islamic, in the time of Jahiliyyah. And so for some of us who embraced Islam, we also had a similar trait. Only for us in certain cultures, it was by their mother. They put that on their mother. And this probably has other implications due to the destruction of our families and the supremacy that reigned over us and what was taken from us as a people and a culture. And due to that, there was the loss of the role of the man in the household being replaced with the strength of the woman, then the end result was that from our customs, we used to swear by our mother. Now, and this is just my analysis of this issue, even without studying it, but really just looking in the context of the particular culture. And it just came to mind. However, what we learn from this hadith is that it is muharram, it's mamnur, and it's a violation of tawheed, and that's why Imam Bukhari is mentioning it, and he's mentioning what is the opposite of that, and that is that you, if you're going to swear, you swear by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That, that is the only uh, way in which someone should swear swear by Allah, not by anything in the creation. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.